Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, welcome to my YouTube channel. So the game Warhammer 40,000 Bolt Gun has just been released, and unfortunately this is a Windows only game, so there is no official macOS port, but as you can see, it is actually playable on the Apple Silicon Mac using a compatibility layer called Crossover. And although Crossover is compatible with a great many number of Windows games that can run pretty well on the Apple Silicon Mac, Crossover actually needs to be patched in order to run certain Unreal Engine 4 games. If you try to run this through straight Crossover, then you're gonna get a black screen, you'll still be able to play the game and hear the kind of sound effects in the background, but you won't be able to play at all. In steps CX Patcher, which is a community made patch, which allows the latest versions of DXVK and Molten VK to be patched into Crossover, which can often give plenty of benefits over the straight version of Crossover, which might lag a little bit behind. And in this case, it actually makes the game completely playable. It works around a specific Unreal Engine 4 issue to do with post-processing. And hopefully the fix is going to be integrated into a future version of Crossover. However, for now, we're going to be looking at using Crossover with CX Patcher in order to get games like this to run. So today I'm going to show you the entire process of installing Crossover on your Apple Silicon Mac, applying the CX Patcher, and then getting the game Bolt Gun running on your Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and install Crossover for Mac. So make sure to click the link at the top of the description. If you make a purchase, then I'll receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support the videos that I create. So once we've clicked the link in the description, we're going to get to the Code Weaver's website. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and then we can go ahead and start a free trial of Crossover, which you can use for 14 days. If you do decide to purchase Crossover later, what you can do is to follow the link again in the description. And once you press the buy now button, you can enter the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki new and then press the arrow button here and then what you'll find is that you'll get a 20% discount off Crossover Plus which is the version that I recommend. If you click my link and make a purchase then you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that I create. However today we're going to be showing you the free trial so all you need to do is to press the try now button here and then we need to scroll down just enter your name and email address and then press the download trial now button. So Crossover Mac is now downloading and then we're gonna go into our finder window here and then go to our downloads folder and then find the Crossover zip file that we just downloaded. Then we're gonna double click to extract and then this is going to unarchive this zip folder. Now I'm going to drag and drop the Crossover icon here and put it in applications folder in order to install it. So within applications, what we're gonna do now is to scroll down and then find Crossover and then double click. It says here that Crossover has been downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press open. So because the version I'm using as a trial, we can press the try now button, or if you did make a purchase with my link, then you can press unlock with purchase info here. However, here we're gonna press try now. So now that Crossover is installed, what we're gonna do is to install Steam. So click on this icon here, or you can type in the word Steam and you can click on this logo that comes up. And then what we're gonna do is to press the install button. And what it's gonna do is to create a Windows 10 64 bit bottle called Steam, and it's gonna do all of the configuration for you. If anything pops up like this, just press yes. Complete the XML parser setup accept the terms and conditions, press next, install, finish. Now it's gonna go through the Windows Steam setup. So I'm gonna click on next here. I'm gonna let this install within the Steam bottle and then click run Steam. It's gonna download the Windows version of Steam here. Here it's extracting. And now that's done, the Steam login window has opened up so you can sign in with your account name or you can scan the QR code which is loaded up using the Steam mobile app. So we've now logged it into the Windows version of Steam. And because this is the Windows version of Steam, any game that you download will be a Windows PC version of the game and it's gonna run through the crossover compatibility layer. So what we're gonna do now is to quit out of Steam and we're gonna apply the CX patcher. I'm gonna open up crossover again and we're gonna enable DXVK. So this is gonna allow DirectX 10 and 11 games to run using this backend. Some games will benefit as well from using eSync. Just depends on the, it just depends on the specific game. I'm gonna leave this off for now. And what we're gonna do is to go to crossover and then quit crossover entirely. So that's shut down completely. Then we're gonna to go to finder and then go into our applications folder. We're gonna double click on the crossover patcher. And then the next thing that we need to do is to go to the CX patcher GitHub page, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Then what we're gonna do is to go to the releases section here, and then we're gonna find the latest release. And then under assets here, we're gonna download the patcher.app.zip. And that's gonna go into our downloads folder. Then we'll open up finder, go to downloads, and then double click on crossover patcher. And then we're gonna drag and drop this into the applications folder. Within applications, we're gonna scroll down until we find the crossover patcher, double click. And if you have this error message, then just hold down the control key and then click on the application and then press open. 
open. And then we have this button here to open manually. Just be aware that code weavers have got nothing to do with this patch. If you do patch crossover, then this is at your own risk. Custom DXVK and Multim VK versions are not supported for crossover Mac. Please don't contact them if you do make this patch. If you do need support, then check out the Apple Gaming Wiki Discord where the developers tend to hang out. So here we're going to agree and proceed. And what we need to do here is to click on crossover in the applications folder, drag and drop this onto the patcher. And it says here, your app is updated. So now crossover is up to date. Close this now and double click on crossover to reopen it. And then we're going to double click on Steam and then load it up again. So now that we have the CX patcher patched, then there are a bunch of games that we can try, which are going to be improved by the patcher. So today we're going to be installing Bolt Gun. So I'm going to do a search in the Steam library for Bolt Gun and we're going to go ahead and buy this. Note that this is the Windows version of the game and we're going to make a purchase. So once it's in your Steam library, just type in Bolt Gun in your library and then we're going to go ahead and download the game. Agree to the terms and conditions and then let Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun install. So this game is only 4.25 gigabytes, just wait for that to complete. So now that's just finished downloading, we're ready to press play. It's going to do a Microsoft redistributable setup. This is pretty normal. Now we can just press the confirm button here and we can change some settings here. Just press confirm and then we're all ready to go. As you can see, we're running through DXVK. I'm just going to change the graphics settings. So there's not much in terms of graphics settings to change. So I'm just going to give this a go. So anyway, as you can see, Bolt Gun runs pretty well on the Apple Silicon Mac through crossover using CX Patcher. So the game will stutter every now and then, and that's due to shader compilation stutter. Once specific animations and effects have been done for the first time, they should get cached. And then the next time you perform the action or see that particular enemy or weapon effect on screen, then it shouldn't stutter again. Overall, the performance is really good on my M1 Max chip. However, it should run pretty well on even the base M1 all the way to the current M2 lineup, all the way until the current M2 lineup. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.